Hey guys, what's up? This is David, and I am back once again to talk to you about things we might discuss on episode 20 of Blame Your Brother. That's right, podcast that I am on, and I am one third of the show. So, episode 19 was last week. It was it was just me and Lee, me and my brother, talking about me shooting my brother with a BB gun. Do you believe that is factual or not? I don't know. Tweet at us at BYB Pod. Link could be somewhere here. Tell us if you believe the stories you heard on the show. Also, we talked about time travel, which I think we've already discussed. Where would you go? What would you do? This week, we're definitely going to be playing a game of Uncage the Cage, I believe was what it's called. It's basically a game where we give uh, Lee comes in with some movies. And generally what we have to do is it'll be a filmography of someone. So like Nicolas Cage, he'll read the character name and we have to try to see if we know the movie. And if we don't do that, then we go to the synopsis of the movie and you have to buzz in. It's between me and John. So, but this week we're doing Christmas movies. So this is going to be interesting. So Lee's probably going to grab some Christmas movies and we will try to see who, who knows our Christmas movies better, me or John. Also, I might bring up the question that's always asked this time of year. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I've heard this discussed a lot, and I don't know. I don't know where I sit on it. So you may have to listen to find out. But is Die Hard a Christmas movie? It's set in Christmas. It's a great movie, but is it a Christmas movie? So we might get into that. And I don't know. I mean, you know, a lot of things have been happening. The Gatlinburg fires, which we talked about last week, that's still going on. So if you have it, you know, and you can afford it this time of year, you should probably try to donate just a little bit of money to the cause. Dolly Parton's really doing a great thing. It's great when when things happen in Tennessee, such as the flood, these fires, people generally come together and and help each other out, and that's fantastic to see. So so if you have a few extra dollars, you can spare it. Help out those people because you're talking entire homes that have been lost. And also there's an online story going around of Santa Claus, a Santa Claus in Chattanooga, I believe, basically visiting a child whose last request was to see Santa Claus and from the story initially I read was the child died in Santa Claus's arms so basically a a man who played Santa Claus was told to come to the hospital the kid didn't have much longer to live he got there visited the kid and the kid said can I hug you and when he hugged the Santa Claus he died so that was the story I read it I got a little bit uh a few tears may have rolled out of my eyes now I read today that may not even be a true story paper cannot verify the story if it's true or false so we may have to get into some fake news which has been a big topic lately what do we think about fake news how do we make fake news legit how do we stop it you know it all kind of start with pizza gay this guy going to a pizzeria in new york believing there was sex slaves being sold or trafficked hillary clinton was involved Uh, how can we stop this you know it's getting to the point where i don't even know if i believe anything that i see on the internet it's kind of crazy so we may get into that and i man i hope that Santa Claus story is not fake because especially this time of year, sometimes we need something to believe in. You know, we need a a great story, a great person stepping up and doing something fantastic. So hopefully that story is true, but it's looking like it's not. So I'll say Kanye West and Donald Trump met this week to discuss a, a number of issues. God knows what and the internet almost fell apart over it. So a blonde haired Kanye West met with Donald Trump, and the internet exploded. So we'll probably talk about it as well. Who knows? John's back. We may talk about his trip a little bit. And with us, who knows? But I will tell you, um, we will stream the show live on Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube. So pick one of those three tomorrow at 7.45 p.m. around that time. Get on one of those. Check it out. We'll be streaming live. We'll be talking. And we try to engage with people. So if you're in one of those mediums, we will try to interact with you. And our big thing right now, obviously, this is the YouTube channel, so we're trying to get our subscribers up. So if you have time, go go subscribe to the show. And always follow us on Twitter, Facebook, all those good things. I'll have the links up there. And other than that, oh, yeah, if you're going to shop through Amazon this time of year, use our link. Go to BYBpod.com. That's BYBpod.com. Click on the Amazon link. It's on the right. It supports our show. It doesn't cost you any extra, especially this time of year, Christmas. I'm buying a lot of stuff on Amazon, and I can't use the link for my show, I use it for others, so there you go. And hey, always, I'm going to touch right here. 
subscribe to the show. You can check out awesome videos like this one right here. If that doesn't work, I'm going to look like an idiot. But guys, uh, hope to see you tomorrow or hope you listen to the show on Thursday morning or Thursday night, Friday morning. So this is it. Episode 20 should be a fun one. I'm Dave and I will talk to you later.